Ha! I would have heard him if my headphones was better. Bro, aren't your headphones like $300? I know, but my neighbor's being too loud. Hey, y'all, be quiet! We're blood strike players. We never died because of our own mistakes. We're blood strike players. We only died because the enemy was just lucky. They're camping, they're glitching, or maybe it's you lagging. There is always something. Even though we all throw those excuses around, sometimes true lag is a real struggle for some players. And that's exactly what I'm here to talk about today. The internet service providers located in my region are total garbage. And there isn't much anyone could do to fix this issue on our own end. I tried using my mobile data connection, but it wasn't as fast as my Wi-Fi. It wasn't logging me in at first, but when I managed to get into a ranked game using mobile data, I noticed that my ping was higher than usual, and this caused me to lose a lot of my gunfights and made the game totally unplayable for me. Then I realized that not everyone is lucky to have stable internet, or located in a place with 0 to 20 ping, but that doesn't stop them from quitting the game or finding ways to have fun and kill time. Super laggy connection? No magic trick can fix that. You have to find a way to get a better connection. But hey, high ping doesn't mean you're out. You can still rock it if you know how to use it to your advantage. Here's what I've learned from being the king of lag. Think about it like this. Ping is the delay between you and the server. Higher ping means more delay. Technically, the higher your ping, the further back in time you are compared to everyone else. You see things a little later, and they see you a little later too. I want you to know something. No matter how you play, there is no possible way for you to really substitute a good internet connection and play like someone on 20 milliseconds. Because you need a good internet connection to play Blood Strike. I'll give you some tips on how to deal with lags and high ping while being able to keep up and reach legend every single season. My first tip is very simple. Don't rush and play passively because the chances are higher for you to lose your gunfights if you face them head on. Ping is a measure of latency which is the time it takes for a packet of data to travel from your computer to a server and back. A high ping means that the data is taking longer to travel, which can cause problems in your gaming experience like desync and delayed response time. If you try to push enemies around the map with high ping, there's a chance that they will see you even if you can't see them, and this is because of desync. Your situation on your device is not synchronized with the server which causes problems like hit registration issues, teleporting in matches, and more. That's why we suggest you hold angles, preferably with good cover or head glitch, since this is one of the most effective ways to fight lag, and you won't have to worry about moving from one cover to another without the risk of getting damaged or killed, even if you just got in a safe place. If you think that playing in a passive way isn't your style and you want to keep the action going by rushing enemies like I love doing most of the time, then this tip too might be for you. Always pre-aim or pre-fire places where enemies would usually show up, as it helps you compensate for the delay that you're currently experiencing. Pre-aiming and pre-firing, in general, is already a good habit every player should exhibit in their gameplay, as it helps you react and align your shots to your target faster. When you pre-aim, you're basically predicting where an enemy might show up, and you're aiming down sights on a spot before you actually see a target. This means that you only have to press the fire button when you do see an enemy, without adjusting your aim that much compared to when not pre-aiming. Pre-firing, on the other hand, is a similar technique, but instead of just aiming at an enemy's position, you start shooting before you actually see the enemy. This is very helpful as it sometimes takes a few milliseconds for the game server to register your shots. By pre-firing, your shots are already on the way to the server by the time the enemy appears on your screen. Even if you do everything right, you still have to keep in mind that pre-aiming or pre-firing doesn't guarantee you will get the kill. You have to expect that your enemy might move in the least expected way possible, and your shots might register too late because of how slow your internet connection is. My third tip is to use guns with a high rate of fire and large mag size, so try building your loadouts with this in mind. You can use guns like the KG-6, MP5, and P90. Stay away from slow-fired weapons like the VSS and the AR-97, as you will struggle to register shots even with high fire rate weapons. Remember that these are all just suggestions from me, and it's still up to you what gun you want to use. 
Here are the builds of the weapons that I mentioned, and feel free to pause. Now, for my fourth tip, I found out it's easier to deal with high ping in game modes like squad fights because of how slow paced the game mode is. You'll want to isolate on the 1v1s only and not take any gunfights when you're outnumbered because there's a high chance that you're always going to get shot by their teammate. My fifth tip is to get yourself a quality headset or earphones. Hearing is just as important as seeing in Blood Strike. With a good headset, you can pick up on enemy footsteps and gunfire, giving you a crucial edge in locating your foes. Another tip is to use Gear Up Booster as it helps to get rid of high ping, packet loss, spikes, and jitters. Gear Up Booster is Blood Strike's network guardian. It will never let a poor internet connection stop your eye-catching game show. If you are interested, you can simply download the app using the link in the description of this video. My final tip, upgrade your Wi-Fi. That's the best tip. If you have other tips and tricks, tell us in the comments below. What's your average ping? Also, comment it down below. And of course, you need a good frame rate in the game to combat high ping. You can check out this video. I explained everything you need to know about getting a steady frame rate on Bloodstrike. I'm Spart, stay legendary.